Hey guys, and welcome back to uh, Stan Boney on YouTube. Video game reviews, hardware discussions, online gameplay, benchmarks, and everything to do with computers. How you been guys? Long time no see. Uh, I'm back. DEFCON 1's doing real well. Um, I'm waiting for my 4-way classified board to come back. And hopefully in a couple weeks we'll get this baby all done and we'll be starting on our new project. But anyway, today... What we're going to be doing is, uh, we're going to show you a little thing about dual monitors, which is really cool. Now, this is not meant for all you experts out there that uh, run games on two, three, sometimes even six monitors, uh, whatever. Um, this is basically a tutorial that I want to show you guys because it's a cheap, very inexpensive addition, and it's a great addition to any PC. Now, for you guys who don't really know too much about it, we'll start out with the cost of a uh, second monitor. Well, my second monitor is an Acer, and it's a uh, 22 inch, 1680 by 1050. Nice looking monitor, I'll tell you, it looks really, really good. It's got some sharp colors to it. Anyway, forget about that. It only costs 100 bucks. 100 bucks. Now, what is a dual monitor going to give you? Okay. Well, with some people, what they do is they match the monitors in size so they can game across the two or three or six or whatever you, combination you'd like, okay? Um, but what I use it for is mainly to monitor my system, okay? You know how we overclock, you know what we do, we benchmark, we do some crazy, crazy-ass shit, all right? And uh, let's show you here. What do we got? First off, what I do is I bring up my Elite Tuner, which basically gives me my, my core temperatures for my CPU, and uh, second, but not least, of course, is your precision. All right, this is your overclocking for your GPUs. Now, again, this is for the people. Uh, this okay. fucking thing went out of well, focus. Well, anyway, here we go. What I like to do is I like to bring up the... Uh, Precision and the Elite Tuner for the NVIDIA cards so I can monitor my CPU core temperatures, my shader clocks, my memory clocks, my GPU clocks during overclock and everything. So let's just start up a simple game here and uh, we'll just bring this up, go to our library. And we'll bring up Left 4 Dead 2. And while that's loading, what I'll tell you is, is that you can set this up in different ways. You can set it to span across two monitors. You can duplicate monitors. You can make the left one your main monitor, the right one your secondary, or vice versa. It's very versatile. It's all done through NVIDIA control panel. Okay? And it's, uh, it's a really neat thing to have. So, what I want to show you here is in-game... Now that the game is at, at the uh, loading level, let's just um, quickly uh, we'll load any game. Make a new campaign, create lobby, and uh, we're going we're gonna to show you. As of right now, I can still span across both screens. So I can see all my monitors, which is nice. Let's start the game. Now remember, this is only a $100 upgrade. Anybody can do this. This is all hooked to one video card. There's different ways of doing it. If you want it to run in three-way SLI, like I do, you hook the two monitors to one GPU. Okay, then you can also hook one monitor to individual GPUs if you want to, if you want to uh, use, use the uh, GPUs in a different way. Okay, but let's go ahead and... Um, show you here. So, the game is loaded, all right, and we could start playing. So, everything's nice. You got everything up there that you want. There's Coach. Take the axe. Oh, I get to be Rochelle again. Cool. Anyway. You see that the game works. But now how do you get to that monitor? You could see everything and monitor everything over there. But check it out. What you do is you bring up your Steam menu. 
Now guess what? You can span over to your other monitor. Okay, so let's say, let's say uh, you're looking at your temps up here in your on-screen display and it's getting a little hot because you left them on auto. What you do is you just tap that screen. And what it does is it minimizes the game. It doesn't shut it off. The game is still over here, ready to go. It's still playing. Okay, and no one even knows anything that you left. All right. Over here, you go over here and say, hey, I need to bump my fan speeds up to full 100%. Hear them kick up. Nice. Come back over here. You bring up your game again. Ain't no big thing. Takes a couple of seconds here. You're back in the game. You bring Steam back down and you're in again. And you're playing. Okay, so the point of it is, is that for $100, instead of actually shutting the game down, having to go reset your fan speeds, or you're worried if your CPU is too hot because... It's, uh, you can't monitor it in-game or, or anything. Um, it's just really nice. Well, it's a simple thing, and it's a nice upgrade, and, you know, I hope you guys like it. Uh, this is basically meant more for the people who are curious about dual screens and, and the capability of it and what, what I use it for. I'm not using it for gaming. 28-inch of real estate is, is good enough for me. All right, but uh, what I also want to show you besides this is we're going to show you proper case fan cleaning, okay? So let's put this away, and we'll be right back.